I decided to build another AR-15 pistol. This time it's chambered for 300 blackout. Actually, I can't really say that I built it because it came as a complete upper and lower assembly. All I had to do was install the charging handle, the bolt carrier group, and pin the two halves together. But I'm really happy with this gun. I have about 200 rounds through it and it's been 100% reliable. The upper, as it came from Palmetto State Armory, came with a stainless steel 8.5 inch barrel, a pistol length gas system, and this really nice rail from Midwest Industries. And uh, it also came with a flash hider, but I wanted to keep this gun as short as possible, so I installed a stainless steel thread protector. Uh, one upgrade that I did make is this nickel boron bolt carrier group. It has a very slick finish to it. Even without lubrication, it feels very slick. And it's very easy to clean, basically you just wipe it down. This uh, lower section, it came with a Mo grip and an SB Tactical pistol brace. And one cool thing about it is it has a, a logo on it from Palmetto State Armory. I think that's pretty cool that they did that. And it is legal to shoot a pistol brace from the shoulder, so that's how I'll shoot it today. I added an optic from Six Hour, it's the Romeo 5. It's very compact, very light, and so far it's been uh, holding zero and has a really fine dot on it. It's two MOA. Very happy with that also. Let's check the trigger pull. No magazine. Chamber's empty. Brakes at 7 pounds, 9.4 ounces. The trigger pull on this gun is not really very good. It's There's no take up, but the travel is very gritty and stagey and unpredictable. So I'll probably change that if it doesn't smooth out in the next few hundred rounds. Yeah, there's a lot of travel on this trigger to break it. <clears throat> the overall quality from Palmetto State Armory was pretty good, but there were some blemishes in the finish. There's little spots, like I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but you can see where uh, the silver color from the aluminum is showing through. It's even worse on the upper receiver. There's six or seven spots on here and uh, there's a couple of nicks on the lower receiver that didn't come from me but really this is just a range blaster so I'm gonna try not to worry about it but it does bug me all right let's go shoot this gun Recoil is somewhere between a 223.556 and AK-47. Uh, it's really mild, especially for the amount of power this round has.
As you can tell from the video, this gun shoots really well. It's very easy to shoot accurately. It's very light. It weighs about five and a half pounds with this optic on it. It's been 100% reliable. And it's just a, a joy to shoot. I love um, the 300 blackout uh, cartridge. The ammunition I use today are 308 pull down bullets, 150 grain, sitting on top of 15 grains of H110 powder. And the brass um, I reformed from 223 brass. And uh, so far I'm really pleased with it. I'm looking forward to shooting this a lot more. Thanks for watching.